What? I I was gonna end on live on PS5. You have to tell me when you're gonna do things different. You can just wait till I'm done singing. I thought I did. You had a gap. I had to take a breath. <laughs> Broadcasting live from a few parts <laughs> unknown. Joining me as always on the sticks. He's that bad dad of cod. You might know him as Muscle V, but we know him as Dixie. Yo, yo. And our executive producer, who has also lost his goddamn mind. He is the one that shirts have forgotten. He is the pants man. I'm a musical treasure. <laughs> and you can feel free to ask me anything, for I am your king of cod. I am Jeeves, and I welcome you to another edition of Call of Daddy 2. Is that nostalgia in the air you smell? No, it's probably just booze. But we will be talking Transformers before we can transform and roll out, though. Muscle V, what happened last time? Last time on Cod Daddies. Our heroes tell another drink-along episode and also celebrated the Big 5-0. Sticking with true traditions, the worst game show host ever, Jeeves, hosts another what? bad <laughs> trivia show to reminisce about all of the good times we had. Per it's usual, the highest rated game segment ever. Per usual, Jeeves did a terrible job and Pantsman had to step in to save the day. <laughs> as our heroes continue with lust, the score stands as follows with Muscle V at 47 and Jeeves at 38. Let's listen in as our oh. heroes continue on to their next adventure. Well, thank you, I guess. A quick uh, quick side note, too. If I win this one, I win the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know. We all know, buddy. Relax. Uh, as you said, though, uh, last week was last week. We ended on eight, uh, two weeks ago, actually. Apologies. Things have been a little crazy for us. Uh, but we are back doing another drink along episode tonight. We hope you're drinking along with us. If you are, you know, try to drink responsibly. If you aren't, don't tell us. We don't need to know that you're not. Uh, with that in mind, uh, must be. What are you drinking tonight? I got a good old lining kugel. Whoa! Oh. Summer shandy. Big old deviation. What's what happened? Are, have you, is inflation getting to you? You run out of, of funds. Um, it was left over from uh from the party. Ah, the party. Okay. The party. Yeah, are you sharing? Party. I was party invited was? to, by the way. Neither was I. My my son did turn a milestone age, so we had a party for him. He's 14. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Were you? Did you not invite us because we might have tried to teach him how to drive? So that why we didn't get the invite? Uh, no. You guys didn't get the invite because uh, clearly you guys aren't great. Wow. <laughs> You're not worthy. Oh, my... You're not worthy. <laughs> I, would... I would have been mad if I drove that far just to drink some lining kugel. What do you? Come on. You know what I think it was? I think, uh, you know, like a child. Uh, Muscle V, if he doesn't see you, he doesn't know that you exist. And we haven't done this show in so long that he just forgot that we existed. I know. I yeah. know the hackers once again strike. Elon is going full force now that he's not buying Twitter. What a what a prick that guy is. Oh, he's not buying no Twitter piece anymore? No, 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 he's, no. He bailed out because he's the worst. I bought all the Twitter stock. Oh, <laughs> well, every, he every single one. <laughs> Actually, well, he you, you, you can afford it now. <laughs> no, now that you're drinking line and Kugel. Yeah, but I bought it at an all-time high, I guess, huh? Now so that he's that's... backing out, it's going to go down. Historically, not not a good move. But yeah, yeah, actually, one of the reasons they think he backed out is because it went down. Because <laughs> <laughs> he locked in a price of like fifty bucks a share or something, and now it's at like thirty-five. Ah, he's the worst. Uh, anyway, but they're suing him, so that's fun. So uh, how? How's this stacking up to the normal honey coke? Uh, honey coke's better, Obvi. Oh yeah, but you have to give us a rate. We know, of course, if that's your gold standard, of course that this is gonna be less. But like, if a ten is a honey coke, what is the lining Google? Is a ten a honey coke? Is honey coke got no room for improvement? I I will say in my. I will say a honey coke is a star, and a lining Google is a circle. That's my. Oh, okay. That's a that's a system we can all appreciate. Yep. Wildly wildly abstract from our buddy Dixie. Rare for you, buddy. <laughs> all right. I think that that harkens back to the early days of the awards. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. 
<laughs> when you guys didn't know why I was having you give out awards. Uh, Still don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, well, how about you, Pants Man? What are you drinking tonight? Well, I, I started to talk about this off mic, but we saved it because it's such gold of uh, conversation. Uh, I already, honest to God, already forgot. have no idea what we talked about before <laughs> the start of the show. <laughs> so I am drinking a Madala Premium Light. Uh, there's no way you pronounced that correctly, right? It's probably Medalla. Modella? Oh. Is that it's got two L's. Is, is it just a Modella? <laughs> it's a Modella. No, no, no. I, it, it is not Modella. It is spelled very differently. It's M E D A L L. Kill, by the way. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Anyway, the reason I'm drinking oh. this is because my very, very good neighbors. Uh, I was I was out oh, on the oh, patio. And uh, I was sitting out there, and he says, do you want a beer? Or he brought me, he didn't ask me, he brought me this beer. And he said that it is a Puerto Rican beer, because they are Puerto Rican, or at least his wife is. And so he, he came to me and I said, do you want this? I've got a Puerto Rican beer if you'd like it. And I said, actually, I'm going to have to drive soon, um, so I'll, I'll pass. But thank you. And he said, just put it in your fridge, man. You're going to pass it to on me a anyway. beer? Well, I had to do a little if you're bit of driving, drink. If you're driving, that is an excusable reason to pass on a drink. <laughs> it wasn't open, it's not right? Great. Like, well, it must not have been, right? Because then he said, just put it in your fridge, I guess. Yeah. So you could be like, hey, thanks. I'll drink it later. Yeah, yes, yes. But so so the the, the, the reason that I, I was going to have to drive was because my parents were coming to town. It was actually not very much driving, to be honest. But I was I was trying to be polite about not accepting his... But truly, now that I'm drinking it, it's not a very good beer. But um, uh, Irre Irrelevant. I, 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 beer could be horrible. If it's free, you drink it. That's that's. I'm doing it right now, buddy. Thing. I'm drinking it right now. I was saving I, it because it was a free beer that I could pull up. It is kind of weird, though, to, if you're not going to stick around, I don't feel great accepting a beer. I know your neighbors and all, but... Oh, th there's, th there is no, like, refusing with them. Like, there's no, there's no opportunity to be like, no, 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 seriously, I don't want it. Please keep it. Even if I said, like, it sounds like I don't, I, I'm, I'm a recovering alcoholic, I'd rather, I, they're still going to be like, no, 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 just put it in your fridge. It's, like, give, it's just very give it to someone who's not an alcoholic. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, yeah, my parents came to town this weekend, and um, I actually have a ton of beer in my fridge as a result in part to that. Oh, all right. And I made the mistake of starting with this because I thought, well, this will be a nice little, I've never had one of these before. And it's it's real kind of uh, Keystone Light level of quality. Oh, so I, wow! So ideal, the gold standard of beers. I know, I know that shots fired, but I thought you were saying you got good. shot down. Uh, you got a zero there, Jeeves. Yeah, I know. I got beer framed, so beer we'll frame. take a drink for that. And mm -hmm. before before I get into mine, Pantsman, why don't you remind us of the rules for the evening? <sighs> All right, um, with, if, with a smile on your face. I want fake you, enthusiasm. If you shoot somebody, you get a little drink. If you fail to shoot somebody, you get a little drink. If you um, forget information or remember information about us, uh, you have to drink. And uh, if we say anything about a robot, we got to drink. I just want to point out, this isn't... Um... I don't. I don't know a book where you can remember where you can read people's minds. You can you can remember us or remember things about us. Uh oh, 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 you're kind of, okay. No, I get it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine if people remember facts about us. It's just you can't <laughs> share just them on them. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, buddy. Uh, so you said robots are off the table tonight. Uh, no talking about robots. If you mention a robot. Uh, that's a drink. As if you say the word robot, or if you mention a specific one, or both? Yes, we'll find out. All right, well, I clocked about four there, so take a, a couple of hearty swigs. All right, so tonight I am drinking um, Southern Tears Seasonal uh, Watermelon Session Ale. Lovely little summer drink. Uh, it's called Nice Slice. So I, I know you guys are big tennis fans. Uh, but I also uh, what? I'm a watermelon fan, a so is it like a good, is it, good slice what is that watermelon? Is it watermelon? I didn't catch that reference. It's called Nice Slice. 
Some, that's a compliment uh, for, for someone's forehand or backhand. I don't know how tennis works. Or it's just oh. a good slice of watermelon, like someone did a great job slicing it? No, if, if you're given a watermelon, no one's like, oh, nice slice of watermelon. No one's ever said that. Yeah, but the beer is literally named after that. Yeah, yeah but it's like, I think it's a tennis, that it doesn't say it's a tennis beer, but I think it's a tennis watermelon. There, so there's no picture of a tennis ball, you're just making that up. No, it's a picture of a watermelon. So, yeah, it's not anything tennis related. But it's, it's the compliment of a tennis player. No. It is, it is. Uh, anyway, so I tried a new drink uh, this uh, this weekend. Uh, it's, it was, it's a local thing, but I'm going to, I think there's other varietals of it in the U.S., so I'm going to go ahead and share the name anyway. It's called Nochino, and this was a green walnut liqueur. It was, wow, it was a, it was a digestif after a meal. What? Uh, digestif, yeah, to help with aiding the digestion process. It's usually like a, a heavier, heartier drink. You know, you get like the amaretto a lot of times, or I like amaretto. Kind of, yeah, it's the same. It's just, it's different. It's nowhere near that taste, but it's the same idea. Right? It's a like, really intense kind of uh, palate cleansing taste after a big meal. It was great. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on green walnut liquor, and you are at the end of a meal. I highly recommend. I assume you're writing that down so that you can uh, cash in on that next time you see your neighbor. You can think that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you'd be into walnut beer? Or, I'm sorry, liquor? Walnut beer would be awesome. Um, I don't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. You don't think you'd be into it. Even though you just said you liked Isarona or Amaretto. Isarona. So. It's a different digestive. Oh, all right. Uh, Must be. I know it's not bad because I know you were out on it. I heard you had that. Yep. Although I don't know. Maybe maybe get some. Throw it in the honey coke. See how it goes. Honey coke. Probably won't. But okay. You guys really got to be. You got to be more open to, to walnut liquors. Do I? Is that a requirement? Yeah, I think as a like, as you age, you have to you have to be able to adapt with the. It, no longer can you just be slugging Keystone lights that random people hand you as you walk by. Like you gotta you gotta be able to move on and upward. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, Moving if I on, if, nobody's, and upward, I know. if nobody's handing me a beer, yeah, I can I can try new things. If somebody's handing me a beer, I'm always going to take it. We've already established, you established this. Yeah, so I would never. Free, free. I absolutely never have turned that down. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to know your neighbor. Okay. Yeah, you, you still gotta move on and expand because otherwise, at some point, he's gonna realize you're a total that have nothing to offer him. Let me tell you, I said to him one day, I said uh, something about uh, next. I think I said like, well, ne- you know, thanks for whatever drink he was giving me, and I was like, next time I'll make sure I get you a beer. Like, I'll I'll return the favor, uh, or, or I said something. I think I said something to the effect of like, um, I have to eat in this up. Like, I have to give you as many beers as you've given me. Something along those lines. And he just looked at me and was like, it's never going to happen. You're never going to give me. I'm always going to be more hospitable than you. <laughs> Have you ever yeah. like paid him back? Like, well, you'll recall, given... you recall he gave him that, uh, what was it? The very sedimental uh, beer that he Oh, yeah, in. the one I homebrewed. That yeah. you, did not, did, you did not enjoy. Not particularly. Um, uh, yes, what what, what a him... gift. Well, and I've, I've definitely... Um, I've definitely given them kale chops and, and beers. And that's gonna be game, geez, if you don't catch up. Oh no. There's it's a lot there's a lot of life left in this matchup. Don't worry. I gotta get what, twelve? Uh yeah. <laughs> to tie, yeah. <laughs> well, you just need to get a negative one and then so I gotta get six here and then you need a negative. I should be fine. Okay. Alright, anyway, what were you saying, Pants Man? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> All right. Well, let's 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 move on to tonight's uh, uh, general topic: Transformers. Do you guys remember Transformers? Are you huge Transformer enthusiasts? What's what's your? Are you talking about like? robots in disguise? Right. I think I think you're doing the the Walmart version of it. But yeah, yeah. That generally that's the lyrics anyway. I don't think you musical. Have any- 
I don't think you had the intensity or the tone, but you know. So, uh, so I, I also brought this up a little bit off mic. I never actually watched the cartoon from the movies. I never saw the Michael Bay movies. My I think that's, entire... not seeing the Michael Bay movies is kind of crazy, I think. At least the, the first one was great. I mean, I've never seen it fast or furious, so I, I'm way out. I don't know um, why you just taking shots at me for no reason. I don't know what I've done to you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. But I'm just saying, uh, my entire understanding and experience with the Transformers universe is through Beast Wars. Which I had to remind you of the name. Kill. Yes, I didn't remember what it was called. <laughs> All right. Uh, I fucking love Beast Wars. That was my shit. It was extremely popular. I don't know about you guys. It was extremely popular in our school, but... I don't remember ever... Well, I wasn't the most social person in school, but I don't remember talking a lot about it in school. I just remember me and my brothers would watch it every morning before school. Could you, could you imagine watching shows before work right now? It's not... Well, it's okay, because I remember being a little kid and struggling to get out of bed, but I still had, t- like, an hour to watch whatever, like Garfield and Friends or whatever was like the at that moment, the show that was on the hour before leaving for school. I used to play PlayStation before going to school. Like, I have mm. no idea how I would do that. I've, I, I've gotten better, but I struggle sometimes when my work is like in my other room. Like I'm working from home. I struggle sometimes to shower before working. Yeah, no, I, I've been an hour late to work from home. Like, it's... <laughs> I've had my boss text me. Wow. Like, is, is is everything okay? And I have to be like, yeah, I just... Oh, man, I had too many digestives last night. I'm oh, my gosh. Struggling. Uh, well, so anyway, so what do you what do you remember from Beast Wars? Tell me about it. Um, you know, I, I remember uh, being very impressed by the, the visuals. It was a 3D animation show in the like mid '90s when that was very new. It wasn't um, just I, 3D, right? It was. It was like it was very clearly like computer modeling. It's like it looks yeah. like futury at the time. And, now and it, that looks time, fucking crazy. But oh my gosh! Now, like I, I, I've got I pulled up some pictures of it. Um, it's embarrassing how like rudimentary and bad it looks, but. As a kid from that era, I mean, it was it was the freshest shit. It looks okay. Like it looks a little better than you're giving it credit. I remember love it. Do you remember there was a show called Reboot, which was a it, it was a similar graphic. I got killed, by the way. I absolutely did not get twelve kills. Yeah, I don't think I got any. Oh, that does sort of look familiar. Oh, must have be dominated. Oh, oh my wow. god. So it's fifty. So it's 53 to 38. Uh, I was ahead at one point. All right. Well, we have to take a a brief pause from the Beast Wars action to coronate our new champion. Thank you. Wait, what's the Ukrainian national anthem? Uh, You can't say that. What? Drink. Oh, drink. Was that not established? I just, I always just say he's a Soviet. I don't know if we've established Ukraine. Either What's way. the Soviet national anthem? Uh, it's like communism, communism, communism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was way cooler than their national anthem. Uh, all right. Well, you, you do you want to give a speech? Well, how do you want to handle this? Uh, obviously, you cheated. We will be investigating you for PEDs, but you know until you just that don't comes concede. Out. That's the new game. You just never <laughs> concede. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm going to plead the fifth now because apparently you're accusing me of stuff and I don't want to self-incriminate. You can't plead the fifth on your victory speech. <laughs> you're, you're a big winner. Everybody's excited to hear what you have to say. Ah, oh, plead the fifth, man. I don't want to... <laughs> I will absolutely not incriminate myself in my victory speech. You can just not talk about steroids for four seconds. <clears throat> well, okay. How'd you do it? Oh, I can't reveal that without incriminating myself. <laughs> um, Jeeves, suck yes. it. Yes. Victory okay. speech. Mic drop. Well, you've incriminated your stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Boys, put, take him away. Should have pleaded the fifth, you idiot. Oh, Just man. I, I, Damn it. I, I just opened a new beer, and the first time I had I was like, this is not very good. 
Um, but now it's following a really, really not good beer. And it's like, ooh, it's so nice. That was, uh, Einstein had a theory about that, right? Um, the theory, theory of relative beeries? The, the beery of relativity. E equals MC beard. <laughs> horrible. It was a horrible joke. <laughs> but it, it didn't get me <laughs> Well, if our, if our listeners didn't like that joke, they're going to really hate the title of this episode when it's eventually pushed out. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, so okay, before we get back into some sweet, sweet Beast Wars action, uh, are we, we, we're, do we obviously have to do game three. Are we keeping the seven sins set up that you established so long ago? That's up to you, buddy. Uh, I mean, you arbitrarily decided it one day. I th- you can do that again, I think. Um, I don't feel like... No, we'll see. You don't. You don't feel like no. I was giving space for him to talk. I I thought um, when I suggested it, I thought I was suggesting something very different than what it turned out to be. Well, what, what did you, you think you were suggesting? <laughs> I thought it was. I, I didn't realize. <laughs> to be honest, at the time, I didn't have any you, sense. You know what, the, how to count to seven? What do you mean? I didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> I did not know how this worked. I didn't realize you were um, doing it the way you did it. I thought it, because I, I thought it was like each round or whatever would be a, a different, I thought it was something we were going to do for the night. I didn't know that oh. it was, you no, know, oh, it's oh, like. You, you thought we'd roll through it. Uh, we are yeah, not, we are not that good. There's no way we're going through yeah. a seven part series in, in one night. Up, All right, well, up 50 gonna, kills. It was, we're going to roll with it again then. Love it. Great. So we're in series three. Uh, well, well, I don't think we did the first sin last time. So what is the first one? Uh, Jeeves. What? Or Pantsman. What am I looking at? The, what's the first of the seven sins? It's a greed. Well, which ones have we done? Uh... <laughs> uh, we, we, had, we just finished Lust, I think. We did just finish Lust. So oh, according should, to the order it. on Wikipedia, Lust is the first one. Oh. oh we... Followed by Gluttony, That's Greed, right. Sloth, no, Wrath, not... Envy, and Pride. Lust is not Those the first one. That's not the right what order. Was, what was the order from the movie 7? That's Everyone knows that's canon. Hold on. Uh, you, you, work on you work on that. Uh, anyway, congratulations, Muscle V. That everyone's surprised again. I know not, you cheated, but not a single we are proud. Surprised. It's exciting that we get to go to a, a best of three. At one point, we thought this might be a best of seven. That's probably off the table, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll, maybe I'll just get fifty kills right here tonight. So who knows? Oh well, you've gotten zero in two games. So yeah, definitely possible. Okay, you hang on to the past. How about that? <laughs> Oh, it's David Fincher movie. Yeah, yeah. That's as far as I've gotten so far. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay so, we... so we strap on. That's not one. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> it's, not, it's, not greed, it's not greed, lust, gluttony, and strap on. That's not one. Well, I was reading, the detectives arrived too late to stop a man forced by Doe at gunpoint to kill a prostitute by raping her with a custom-made bladed strap-on representing lust. Wow, oh, that is need, a sense. Do you need the, to throw in that it's a custom? I, I assume most dildos are bladed. I don't know, this Wikipedia page doesn't just have like a list of... Well, just, just quickly go through the entire plot. It should be Actually, you're on the first kill. It should be easy to figure out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Just so watch gluttony, the movie real quick. Gluttony, greed, sloth. A gluttony is really all we needed. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so gluttony, gluttony's on. Series three commences. Let's get going, baby. Or uh, Pantsman gets way too deep into the seven, the seven deadly sins. No, I moved on back to Beast Wars. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, so what what was your beast war? You did it before uh, school. Yeah. Did you? And it was it was dope. Mm-hmm. That's about all established. So uh, did, you, yeah. did you have a favorite? Are we doing the thing now? 
No, 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 no. <laughs> My favorite's gonna be the one. I will say, I'm just looking at pictures, reminding myself of some do of this. Stuff. So, so Muscle V didn't do Beast Wars. Can you recap to without any Google, or without any searching of anything, what you think the plot to Beast Wars was? Okay, my understanding, and Hell. this is a this is not really memory from watching the show. It's more memory from uh, Wikipedia uh, things I've done in years since. Um, okay. But apparently some MacGuffin from the original Transformer show uh, wound up on this planet. I don't, I think it's a, I, I don't remember, I don't remember, I think it's, a, I don't know if it's a prequel or not, but I, I, I feel like after the first Transformers, they wind up on this planet and they are um, basically these um, Transformers that rather than their um, you know, transforming into machines like in the original show um, because they're on like a human planet. Now they're on this kind of primitive planet so they transform instead into like animals and dinosaurs and shit. And um, I always thought as a kid that it was supposed to be a prequel. Like I thought they were on Earth before like Earth was... I, I thought it was like dinosaur age Earth that they landed on. Um... But I don't think that's true. Yeah, it's absolutely none of that. I, I think it's actually like not even close to each other time frame wise. Like it's like thousands of years difference for some reason. Well, anyway, all you really need to know as a kid is there are good guys and bad guys and they're all pretty badass and fun to watch. And every episode basically is an excuse for them to fight each other. Well, so I, I also did some way later Googling. Apparently with Beast Wars... Because of, I think it was the way they did the animation. Got to kill, take a drink. Mm. I think it was the way. Is that, that they the did... first gluttonous kill? That's my first gluttonous kill. It must have be already tagged one. Yeah, I've already had one. So I think it's, I think it's, it's one weird. one. Well, he did Jesus. one one. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Beast Wars is interesting because I guess I think it's the way they did the animation was pretty new, so they could only have like so many characters. So they had to go super deep with the storytelling because they didn't they couldn't just rifle through 15 Autobots in any given episode. So apparently it's like a really like good, interesting, full of depth show, even though it's only went like three seasons. Well, and I do I now I'm looking at pictures. I do remember that um I think between seasons they would like refresh things and like come up with new things that could be new toys. And I do remember the main Optimus Primal, which is a very clever name. Yes, I feel like right. in the first season, he's this, he's like a literal gorilla. Yes. And then he turns into a robot. But I think in the second season, he becomes this like kind of techno gorilla that like he transforms in some weird way. I have no recollection of that part. Yeah, yeah. he's like a different character. He's like, he, he's the same character, I think, but he looks very different in the second season aggressively confusing apparently he's somehow distantly related to optimus prime so that's just just to be confusing and annoying i believe so you guys talking about some cartoon animal shit are we are it's we not start... cartoon it's not cartoon it's uh it's like computer animation okay why are we not talking about megan fox well the, okay i was gonna get to you what what is your transformer experience what do you got for us Two words, Megan Fox. Yeah, I mean, that's the correct answer. Megan Fox, when she opens the hood of the car. Oh my yeah. God. Incredible, incredible moment in a young Jesus' life. <laughs> uh, so, Pantsman, you have no no experience with the, you. You were out on the Michael Bays, but do you even know what what we're referring to? Yeah, Obviously, I mean, I, Fox, I but. it was it was peak pop culture in 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 our early college days. I I I, I certainly was aware of the films. Um, I just never sat down and watched them. But as as a gay, are you mad that you missed Megan Fox being good at Cars? Is there a reason that I should? It was an incredible moment, like okay. transform transforming moment. Oh boy. <laughs> the rest of the movie is actually pretty good too, though. A pretty good Shia LaBeouf film. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot that that was the, that he was like the star of that movie. Mm-hmm. I honestly yeah. think that might have been one of the reasons I kind of didn't go see it is because I found him very annoying. Yeah, this but is you don't, pre, this you don't is see pretty it for crazy, him. Shia. Yeah, this wasn't fair. No, I thought he was annoying before he was, you know, openly crazy. He was funny in Even Stevens, and then he was good in Eagle Eye, and then Transformers. Was he, you know, uh, was he in that Indiana Jones movie before Transformers yeah, or after was, Transformers? That was like 10 years after. <laughs> it's not 10 years. Five, whatever. That was a pretty long time after. But you don't watch Very it. You don't watch after. it for Shia LaBeouf. You watch it for Megan Fox. Yeah, I agree. It was also before Megan Fox was crazy as hell, so. Definitely. It was, it was before Jennifer's okay. Body. Transformers, was, uh, the first movie came out in 2007. Indiana yeah. Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull came out in 2008. So I was not that What? Far. No way That's Shia LaBeouf did two movies back to back. He was a hot yeah. property in that yeah, movie. Pro- There's no way that movie came out in 2008. Oh, oh, you no know way. what? Yeah, shit, you're right. I, f- I saw it on a cruise ship now that you mentioned it. <laughs> It was a very specific age that I, I can't share, but it makes tons of sense what you're saying now. 14. You were 14. I was 14. Some random people were trying to teach me how to drive. I'm like, this is a cruise ship. I can't drive. <laughs> Are you driving? Like, it's go karts. It's ship. fine. <laughs> oh, all right. Let, let's get into some. We, let's get in some real Transformer shit. I, my experience is mostly. I liked Beast Wars and uh, Megan Fox, so. Did, nice real quick question, did after. any of us um I know we were a little bit too young for it, but did any of us watch the eighties cartoon or not at all? I mean I definitely saw it. like, you know, like every cartoon I've seen yeah, episodes, but it okay. wasn't I didn't go out of my way to to watch the Transformers cartoon by any means. It was one of those, from what I remember, it was one of those shows that every time it was on, I was like, eh, I'm not going to change it, but I'm not seeking it out. I don't feel like it was on when I was a kid. Like, I feel like, um, it's, it was, on. I feel like when I was a kid in the, in, in the era that I was a kid, well, I'll just say the 90s. Um, we, when I was um, a kid in the era that I was a kid, what'd you just say? I was trying, you I was lose trying your to goddamn avoid mind? saying the 90s. Oh, um, well, you did an interesting, horrible job. Didn't work, but but it, it would have been okay. I feel like the only the only cartoons available to watch were either ones actively being made and coming out, Gotta kill. or drink, or shows like Hanna Barbera cartoons that were like from the sixties and seventies. Like I feel like the eighties was just like none of that was being rerun. I think the Transformers showed up showed up in those like in similar blocks from with the Hanna Barbera stuff. Like you could, it me. you could see a Scooby Doo and a Transformers in like a very similar time frame, that kind of thing. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I just, I, I never really had it. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't have a deep knowledge by any means. It's just, I, I have like very vague memories of robots drink being very specific, or being being very specific, being very serious. Hmm. Optimus, we must get to him now. No shit like that. I did. I I really appreciated how uh, serious Beast Wars was because it was a very it was it was a cartoon that was primarily about like action and selling toys, but it also like it, it, it while it had a comic relief element. We'll get to that in a minute. I um. Really? I we will. Um. I I feel like it. It was. It wasn't just purely about goofs. And I feel like so many kid shows and cartoons are purely about being goofy and silly. And um, I appreciated that it was like, I don't know, more serious. The toys were were dope. Beast War toys were easily the best toys. So good. Uh, it definitely, I mean, there was a character called Rat Trap. Are we, is that, are we talking about that? Sorry, I, I lost you. Say again. <laughs> there was a character called Rat Trap. Who was I think I forget what his deal is, but it's uh, his whole character was just a joke. Okay, well let's not ruin anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's get into it. 
I will, I, will I quickly get dissected over here. Gentlemen, as you know, it's Wednesday. Some drinks have been set forth. And for some reason, the gods have smiled upon you yet again. Tonight, they have imbued you with a transformer of your choosing. The only catch, he will, he or she will be hammered the entire time you will. Uh, the world is yours to change, though, because tonight, you are drunk with power! How is You sounded like um, the, the bad guy, whoever the, the like, T-Rex bad guy was. I is it just it couldn't have been Megatron. I don't know what his name was. Either. I think it was Megatron. That makes no sense. At some point, at some point, I think Megatron does show up because of some crazy, like some sort of weird time yeah, travel. Yeah, uh, Megatron was a a T Rex slash dragon. Yeah, of course. Also, Dragon Megatron was dope. Anyway, um. Must be you are acting czar, I believe, uh, despite the fact that you have no business being it. So, if you'd like to pick our order for the evening. I am um, salty. Yeah, I want you to retract what you just said before we move on. That's not a power you have as czar. Not only is he a czar, he is the lust king, or whatever you're calling him. <laughs> you're definitely calling him the lust king. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. What a, uh, give us the order for the evening. Yep, with all of my power, um, we're going to go Pants Man first, Jeeves second, and I will be last. All okay. right. You said with all your power, and I just want to point out to listeners, that is literally true. The only power given to you is the power to order things. Nope. I have more power than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I really do have to work on the bizarre power sometime, but anyway. Uh, so Pants Man, let's, I, let's not beat around the bush any longer. Which uh, which Transformer do you have, uh, and how drunk is he, and why have you chosen him? Or I mean, you, you brought him up. There's a reason I was being KG. It's Rat Trap. I'm choosing Rat Trap. Why? And my reason is, I always liked him the best. I mean, he was by no means the coolest. In fact, he was arguably the least cool of the Transformers. He was a rat who was small and not very good at fighting, um, but he was scrappy and he was funny. And um, I related to him in that way. So I'm going with him. Also, if we're doing a drunk thing, I can't imagine anyone would be more fun of that group, of, of all the Transformers and all the iterations of Transformers. I can't imagine any of them would be more fun to be around than a drunk rat rat. Yeah, that's probably good. He kind of seems drunky anyway. Kill. Drink. Drink? Uh, yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, must be for your edification. This thing is, uh, he could have any animal in the prehistoric kingdom, and this one got stuck with a rat. So that's oh. who Pants Man has chosen. Okay. Clearly the loser. He has all of, all of the powers of a rat. <laughs> to, to, just to just to clarify what we're talking about here, there was a T-Rex. There was a, there was a Velociraptor. There, there was, was there was a cheetah. There was a gorilla. I chose the rat. <laughs> now, how much pizza does this rat eat? Zero. Uh, not like Splinter. Splinter also Ratchet. not not a big pizza guy. He liked the garlic bread though. Yeah, loved the garlic bread. It was soft on the pizza. Uh, all right, interesting choice. I it fits it fits you. I'll give you that much. I would say if you for I I don't know how many people are listening, and there are tens of millions of them. I don't know how much this semi obscure, like probably the least famous and popular version of Transformers is the one that we're mostly referencing because it's what we grew up with. And I'm trying to get letters for that, but um, yeah. Yeah. I would say if for anybody who's not really familiar with the show and doesn't know or doesn't remember rat trap and what he was um i would say think uh guardian of the galaxy the the fox guy or what is he is he a fox uh raccoon raccoon rocket raccoon i feel like i feel like and correct me if i'm wrong i feel You're like wrong. he's You're got in... some rocket raccoon energy uh if, if you take out all the cool skills the rocket has uh, and you just mostly think of how overcompensating and snarky he is. Yeah, that's Rat Trap. That's 100% what I was thinking. None of the cool part. Right. Isn't it right. Good? 
He's not good with technology. He's not good. He's not a great, particularly good shot. He doesn't have a ship. Yeah, no. None of the parts that you're thinking, like, okay, that's kind of cool. None of those parts. Yeah. The other parts. <laughs> all, all of the annoying parts, yeah. For sure. All right. A little rat trap. Uh, so I, uh, of course, as a, a Megan Fox's movie was transformative in my life, we've established big character in that. I'm taking my boy Bumblebee. He's going to be the stumblebee for that for my journey with him. Love that he can't talk. I think that's a great feature. He's got a heart of gold. I know that you know he's going to make mistakes anyway. That's kind of what he does throughout the movie. Fine if he's a little drunk. It's going to be perfect. So actually, a little conflict because that was going to be mine as well. Well, shouldn't have went last then, idiot. Well, I'm gonna do Bumblebee oh. also, and just have a wait, different... wait, 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 wait. Before before you dive into your Bumblebee, I wanna I wanna interrogate uh, Jeeves' Bumblebee a little bit, because um, you said that he doesn't talk, so I was not aware that there was a non-verbal version. Um, so you're saying Bumblebee doesn't talk? Now this confuses me for one reason. Didn't they make an entire movie about Bumblebee? Well, he's so... tra- he starts to talk later, but in the beginning he can't talk. It's uh, like, like okay. music and stuff on the radio to like kind of talk. Okay, he's, interrogation he's, over. I get it. Yeah, he's got like an issue with his uh, his speaking box or some shit. You know, blah 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 blah. Sci-fi. All right. So Muscle V obviously rum- uh, Bumblebee's off the board. Who are you taking? I'm still going with Bumblebee. So you want to you want to share? Now is that because you don't remember any other ter- Transformers? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you don't remember Optimus Prime. You, I feel like you can't use him. Like that's cheating. What about Shia LaBeouf? LaBeouf. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, if you want Shia LaBeouf, you can have him for I sure. I am still gonna go with Bumblebee for different reasons than Jeans because his reasons were stupid. Uh, obviously, it's a Chevy Camaro, an awesome fucking car, and that's a reason. I mean, it's a transformer. They can literally uh, update the cars, but whatever. Fair enough. Also, I do like a Camaro. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. like you can definitely pick up a shit ton of chicks in the Camaro, so that's definitely a, who, a better who, reason. Who can? Are you saying you can? Yeah. Now forget the fact that you're married with child. Let's take that off the board. You, you think that you were just one Chevy Camaro away from picking up chicks all the time? I was one yellow with black stripe Chevy Camaro away from picking up chicks all the time. Yes. I gotta say it. I gotta say it. We were talking to the Chevy Camaro, and I was like, "Really? That's why you think it's cool? Because of a fucking Camaro?" And then I googled it and realized what I was picturing was an El Camino, not the <laughs> oh, same thing. Very different. Car, yeah. Uh, a Chevy Camaro is a cool car, but I they're not like that expensive. You could have had one through all of your single. Well, life. now wait a minute. You're saying that, but um, Muscle V, did any of your like extended family have one that they were <laughs> no, selling? No, cheap? no. Because <laughs> if not, then no, I could not have had one. <laughs> My favorite is that they bought that car from your uncle or whatever. <laughs> what was that? What and was then. The brand? What was the brand again? It was something I never even heard of. It was a, it before. Was a sob. No, it's a sob. A sob. No, it was, it was not a sob. It was like. And it was like covered in paint spatters. Yeah, it was. It was like road road paint. Yeah, it was road paint. And, yeah. Road paint? He, like, he hot glued a sob thing on. That was not a sob. I've never it, seen that car it before. It was a sob. Google a sob. My absolute favorite thing. But it had we four went. A's in it. We. Yeah. <laughs> We went to dinner that night, and Lil Fuse got out of the car, and as she closed the door, the mirror popped off and rolled down a hill. First off, she hulked out on that door. <laughs> Even if she did. <laughs> Even oh, if she stayed man. as hard as she possibly could. I didn't know mirrors just pop off. The car it was crazy. You know what? That's fine. If I had to replace a $20 mirror, that's fine. I got the car for dirt cheap. You did. It was very cheap. It was a great purchase. But I still think if that, if you think you were one Chevy Camaro away from all of the chicks, I think you fucked up still. I mean, most of the chicks, not all the chicks. Most. You, so wait, is this a hindsight thing? Like you, are you looking back and going, you know what? What I was missing was a Camaro. Or did you know at the time, all I need is the, the missing ingredient is a Camaro, but I'm still not buying one. Oh, I'm not going back in time. Jesus, Jesus is going back in time. I'm just well, saying it's, it's an awesome, okay. badass car, and... 
you can pick up chicks was, in that car. I was going to get to that. It really is a horrible point for you to go for it now, but I was going to let that go. Uh, really crazy reason to go get it now, especially like it's a horrible all weather car for the record. Uh, I'm not buying one, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Anyway, um, wait, you so okay? So you're gonna get all the chicks in your Chevy Camaro. All right. Well, anything okay. about Bumblebee himself? I mean, he's fine. <laughs> all right. He's friendly. He talks about as much as you do, so it's pretty perfect. That sounds great to me. So uh, this is nothing to do with anything other than I'm still on the Beast Wars list of Beast Wars characters page on Wikipedia. And it has this table that's fucking insane. It's got a list of characters. And then it's got like all these different columns. There's a column called Faction. And Kill. it's like NX, PR, VH. Drink? I don't know what any of those mean. Yeah, I don't that then there's a bunch of well. columns under the heading animation, B-W-I-I-C-C exclamation point, N-E-O, B-M. I have no idea what any of this is. There's a whole table. I've never seen a list of characters that was a, instead of just like, here's a list and maybe some descriptions. It's like a fucking table. I mean, I get why you would do it by faction. That was the, the, the wars, right? There was two... Yeah, I just don't know what any of this means. What does MX mean? Uh, most extreme. Uh, okay, it's Maximal Predacon or Vehicon. Yeah, that, that cleared nothing up. Is that the good guys and bad guys? I think Maximals were the good guys. Predacons yes. were the bad guys. Okay, yeah, that does sound right. Oh, Neo was, there was a, uh, I don't know if it was a different show or just a different season, but there was Beast Wars Neo. Uh, I thought yeah, he was you're the guy from that. You're out of my depth. Oh yeah, I know. I, I kind of, this is this is like a very different thing. From, this is like a Japanese thing. Oh man, is it Keanu Reeves in Beast Wars? Because yeah. be no, it was like a, it was like a, a really bad cartoon, and I say really bad based on no evidence. I'm having just stumbled upon the Wikipedia. <laughs> I was basing that on one picture from one Wikipedia page. <laughs> this shows horrible. Uh, fair enough. Uh, okay, great. And so you said, must be you have no particular, you just love a yellow Chevy Camaro, which again, you could currently own, but don't. So I would that, be I would be a badass with, with my boy Bumblebee. You don't want to get a Chevy Camaro now because you're worried of how many chicks you could pick up. That's also not a practical car for me at the moment, but I mean that's one of the reasons. Yeah, with, with your fourteen-year-old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do. Let me tell you, you do not want when your fourteen-year-old starts driving in a few months. You do not want them to be starting in a Camaro. That's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> I, I actually saw. Yeah. I saw somebody. Think about how many chicks they'll bring back. It'd be horrible. <laughs> I saw somebody do uh, being like a student driver in a Tesla, and I'm like, why the hell would you give somebody a Tesla to be a student driver? Uh, they drive themselves. It's a perfect car. How are they going to pass Yeah, that's test? actually a really good car to start with. You don't do any driving. They don't learn anything. Right. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, I, I will say, my, so this kind of came up with my, my boyfriend because he uh, has talked about, because he doesn't, he doesn't really drive. He doesn't have a license. And he's talked about, like, maybe he should learn how to drive and that's um, start driving. Stuff. He doesn't really? Like, he well, doesn't he really has his he has a license in, ta in Taiwan where he's living, but it's not the same. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, um, he was saying, like, if he were ever to decide to, I said I would teach him. And I, he said, well, if we decide to do that, we'll have to get, like, a beater car, like a really old shitty car, because he would hate to risk my nicer, newer car. And my, my car is not that nice, but it has, like, the safety features, like the lane assist and the variable cruise control and like backup cameras and all that stuff. I was like, first of all, I don't want to teach you how to drive in a car with none of those things. Like I want all of those things at the yeah, wheel definitely. with you. No way I want to have to teach you how to drive if I don't trust the car will stop if you don't. Yeah. You need those, for, those you specifically need those features. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. 
Uh, I'm in a firefight in seconds. I just blew myself up. Kill. In a firefight. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, he gets a kill. Musical genius. Well, I'm musical genius. We go back to you. Uh, what's the very first thing you do? You get imbued with the rat trap. He is super hammered, but he's being hilarious, barious. When you say so imbued what? with, am I? Do I become rat trap or I'm hanging out with rat trap? You own him. I own him. Also, I'm a slave master. That's not good. Uh, I feel great about that. I, Can we be friends instead? Is that an option? You you have full control of him. However, you need to justify that in your oh, head to, to sleep him. at night. Okay. Yeah, I don't fuck him. <laughs> I, like I, that was, I, I like that you picked a small thing. I think that's good. I love how I was all high and mighty about like I would never have a slave. I would never I would never want to be in control of a human. Oh, but okay. Full control? Uh sex. Well, sex slaves fine. No, what's Just, um so so what would be the first thing I would do with rat trap? Mm -hmm. I remember he's drunk. Um I I I would um I, I would get drunk with him. I don't know. I, I think he'd be fun to be drunk with. He, he is drunk the whole time you have him. So like you can't just keep up with him the whole time. Oh, like, right. That's a fair point. Um, I think... I mean, I, the first thing you can do could be get drunk with him. It just shouldn't be the only thing you do with him. Yeah, I mean, we're going to start there and we'll see what happens. Okay, so what are you, what are you drinking when you're with a Transformer getting drunk with him? What's, what's your drink of choice? Are you trying to impress him? Or you're like, I own you. I will just drink Keystone Light till I'm hammered. You know what it would be? I would, I would take him to a really nice place, like a, a restaurant or a bar, or someplace that has really great drinks. And then he'd come in right after me, and everybody would freak out. Oh, my God, that's the biggest fucking rat I've ever seen. Everybody would leave, and then I would just help myself. <laughs> oh, so you would, you would have him come in in rat form. Absolutely, I would. <laughs> Just squeaking around and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this, this place needs a way worse health grade. This is crazy. Have you seen the rats here? I mean, there was no human to use in that show as a scale to compare these Transformers to. But Rat Trap, while smaller than the other Transformers, he was like only a quarter the size of the gorilla. So, like, that's a pretty, pretty big fucking rat. Yeah, definitely. Uh, are you worried that any of the patrons would recognize him and be like, wait a minute, that's not any ordinary rat, that's Rat Trap. No, because like I said, it was a pretty obscure show. I don't think most people have seen it. <laughs> I think it was smart to go to a fancy restaurant. I think that's going to help your cause. Yeah. Fancy, fancy yeah. people hate cartoons. Exactly. All right, great. Uh, I think this, I like that as a first move. I thought I think fuck him is actually probably more true to your character, but I I like I like get drunk with him. I think it's a great answer. Trying to keep PG. That wait, you can't say I'm gonna fuck him and then say you're trying to keep it PG afterwards. No, I'm Those saying are... I'm saying I switched from fuck him because I was trying to make him more PG. After you are already are. Look at all right, Mr. MPAA. I don't know how you do the rating system. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, well, he took back his comments. Those are those are off the table. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> kids, kids can see if he takes if he takes it back. Kids can see that. Yeah, you get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the MPAA does, but they're idiots, right? Yeah. Completely okay. arbitrary. <laughs> Uh, so the very first thing for me that I do with with Stumblebee is I say, "Listen, man, we're gonna hang. We're gonna have plenty of time to hang. I'll get drunk with you at some point. But the very first thing I need you to do, go trash the entire state of Indiana. It's already a butthole. I need you to make it official. You're, you're wasting Bumblebee's time on trashing. I am not. The entire state. I just want no one to go to Indiana ever again." And I think he he had in like four hours. Whoa, that is an aggressive. Do you know how big that state is? Like, 
just get it. Like, are you saying Indianapolis? He could trash Indianapolis in four hours. No, no, the whole state of Indiana. Got to kill. That's a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> no, he's, I mean, you're forgetting. It. It's a Chevy Camaro, pants man. It's yellow. Everyone knows the fastest color. What is he? What, does he have anything special, like when he turns into a robot? No. <laughs> As far as, as far as I can tell, he's like forty percent weaker than Optimus Prime. Okay. I don't know. They, in the in the Michael Bay movies, it it gets a little confusing who's got what powers. I think they kind of all have the same, as far as I can tell. So yeah. I, did not, I did not watch the following seven films or whatever came out afterwards. Now you're you're in you're are you in Indiana while he's doing? Are you just like you're, you're no no no? I'm gonna send him away from you. I would never step foot in Indiana. I'm sending him there to destroy it. So next time I go there, I don't have to worry about it. What happened to you? Oh, I know what happened to you in Indiana. Mm, yes. Sorry. It's all right. It's just a butthole of the state. Is this from one of our past experiences, or is this something new? It was a hostel. I made him go to a hostel in Indiana, and he did not enjoy the experience. Yeah. Horrible. It was horrible. Was, I... In fairness, that would have been any hostel in any city, any state. I had just gotten back from my first ever trip to Europe, where we stayed in hostels, and they were European hostels. And it was like a thing there, and there was a whole culture to it, and it was like fun and, and awesome to be 20-something, and you know, in a hostel. And I was like, oh man, they've got a hostel in Indianapolis. We're going there anyway. It'll be so cheap and it'll be fun. And it'll be great. Like, let's go there. And then it was just the worst. It was terrible. It was, Americans don't do hostels. It's not the same thing as Europe. It was not. And, and I got woken up by a man in the middle of the night, I think asking me for water, but definitely trying to get it on. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah. I'm still salty that it wasn't me that he was. Yeah. I, I also saw it that it wasn't you. <laughs> would have been better for both of us. What would you do if I started banging a guy in a hostel when you're like on the bottom bunk or whatever? I'd leave, Kill. first of all. <laughs> would, would you wake up and be like... The, wouldn't stay in that room, I'll tell you that much. You would have, yeah, you'd wake up and be like, what the fuck is going on? I, well, yeah, because it was like late. It was, I want to say it was like 2 a.m., so I don't know. I probably I wouldn't you. Be, I know what you I, would have done. I, you, thought you would have, a, I thought it was a fever dream. And then I was, I was like, wait a minute, that fucking happened, didn't it? You would have just whispered, Bubble, we gotta need you. <laughs> just this destroyed this the whole state. state is destroyed. Yes, exactly. Horrible state. All right, Muscle V, what's your first move with your Bumble B versus Bumble? What was it? Stumble B? I got the Stumble B. He's got the regular shitty Bumble B. Yeah. Camaro B. Obviously, the right move is you have a Chevy Camaro, you have Bumblebee. I don't care if he's drunk or not. I'm going on a joyride with Megan Fox. And you know, as soon as you started talking, I realized the correct answer was pretend that Bumblebee is injured and have Megan Fox fix him. That is the correct first move. Well, at least I still have Megan Fox in my scenario, and you don't. So clearly, you are the loser in that scenario. Yeah, you're, you're destroying a state for no reason whatsoever. No, no, no. I'm destroying a butthole of the state. <laughs> it's a noble cause. I just, I think what you're doing makes sense. I, I like how, uh, I, I've liked up to this point how, unlike every other game we've ever done, this one wasn't truly competitive. It was just a fun little ride down. Can we not, for once in our lives, can we not make this about winning and losing? Can we just make it about the joy of fucking a robot? No, it's definitely about winning and losing. Okay. What are you talking about? I'm giving you a transformer who's draw. Of course, this is about winning and losing. You could, you still get to fuck the robot. Oh, I don't make no mistake. That's already done and and delivered. That's not the question. Delivered. Well, what are you doing? Drink. Got to kill. You are so proud of that one kill. It's, it's like my second kill of the night. I you have to celebrate it when they come. Uh, I don't like this restrictions, it's about muscle B. I, c I can't get drinks in between my deaths. Yeah, it's too quick. Too quick. It's too quick. Uh, okay. So, do you have any qualms with him taking a uh, joyride with muscle with Megan Fox or any any questions? No, he won that one. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, the, they don't take a joyride. So wait a minute. Did, did one, one little thing I was just pointing out. Now, I don't have... This is not a criticism of Megan Fox. I don't know anything about current, present, 2022 Megan Fox. All I'm saying is, uh, in this scenario, we're talking about the present day. We are not talking about our college what? days. So... So you are riding around with 2022 Megan Fox, if that affects anything. Uh, it may not. She's it pretty good looking today, too. She is still hot, but she's crazy as fuck. And her and was Machine Gun Kelly, I think. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly. Are they're, they're the two most annoying people on the planet. So so what you've signed up for is uh, Machine Gun Kelly fucking Megan Fox in the backseat while you drive. Is absolutely in the car. Yeah, and they're super weird together. So that would absolutely happen. I mean, do I get a turn? You know what you should have done. What? You should have had you should have had Bumblebee kill Machine Gun Kelly. Ooh. Then use the Camaro to help her mourn. And then she's on your shoulder or whatever. Can you can you walk back that help me help you mourn thing? What do you mean? Like like he's the shoulder to cry on or whatever. Well, how's the Camaro button to that? Well, he's not going to convince her to come in unless he's in the Camaro. <laughs> okay. I like, I do need a drunk transformer, and you're just using it as the car. You're using it to destroy the state for no goddamn reason. That's a great well, use. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Think, about, think about the drunk driving element of, like, he has no control. He can't drive the car. The car isn't a real car. It's a, it's a, it's a living being. So, like, yes. that car, as a Camaro, is itself drunk driving. It's fine. Definitely swerving and shit. Not not concerned at all. I'm hanging out with Megan Fox. Oh, I got a kill at the end right there. So take a drink. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is a good point. Uh, yeah, you are. You, see, you forced him to be a car while he's hammered. He is all over the place. And it's, oh, it's a Camaro. It's not a great car. It's fine. Oh, love it. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, Pants Man, you've had some time to get saddled. You guys got drunk together. You probably boned because you made them. I want to. I want to know what your first year, your biggest goal you want to achieve in a year with a drunk transformer, rat traps specifically. What are I you feel like. To do? I feel like rat trap um, is honestly. I we're just gonna be buds. We're just gonna hang out, drink on the porch. And uh, you're, you're gonna have a talking point with your neighbor. Wait, oh, but the, my neighbor's gonna fucking love Rat Trap. Are you kidding? You, you finally oh. have something to contribute on the. Oh balcony. my gosh! Yeah, no. I, in fact, what will probably happen is he would like Rat Trap more. He would just, oh my gosh, this is what a neighbor could be is Rat Trap. All right, you know, you pants fan, fuck off. Like me and Rat Trap are gonna have some fun, and then he bangs Rat Trap. So it becomes a whole cuck situation. Your your first year goal is to get cucked by the machine you own. It's not my goal. My goal is for us to be buds, but I'm just being realistic. What would happen is I would get cucked by uh, Rat Trap and my neighbor. So your your goal is to be Rat Trap's bud. <laughs> That's it. That is the bar I've set, and the result is getting cucked. Yeah. Oh boy. Not even, uh, by the way, not even like, like not a traditional cuck where uh, you're like lover, where your lover is taken from you. I'm talking about just a friend. It's a, just a, it's a friendship. It's a friendship cuck. Just a buddy. And that's, that's getting cucked. I, you, you control rat trap. Like you can tell him don't hang out with my neighbor or. Oh, I would never have... do that. My neighbor's so fun. I would never <laughs> deprive rat trap of that. Nothing to do with your neighbor. You you wouldn't do that to Rat Trap, your bud. No, never. <laughs> Whoa, Jeez. boy. Uh, that's there's a you you need therapy, my man. <laughs> you got to talk to somebody. I gotta tell you, I feel very uh, healthy about these choices. Like like I could do anything. I could make him do unspeakable things, and in the bedroom sometimes I do. But I'm saying. That in general, I could choose to use him in, in, in awful, awful ways. My choice is to set him free and just let him be him. And what he is, is somebody who's having more fun with somebody other than me. If we're being honest, it does seem like it needs therapy. 
<laughs> no, no, they say it in full context. Yeah, that does and, not sound healthy at all. And you can like observe their friendship too, like because it's just your neighbor. He's very close to you, proximity-wise. It's a real problem you've said. But you know what a before. blessing is? I I cannot hear through that oh, wall. Okay. okay. So I won't hear the noises. That's great. The squeals. Of laughter, because again, it's just a friendship thing. That you PG, we're of. keeping it PG. Okay. We're, this is definitely rated PG, and you are definitely not buds with the machine you control. This is good. I think we've established oh, some good stuff for your one. Am I winning? Is this winning? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clear what what a winner looks like. That doesn't sound like it, though. Well, let's see if it can be topped. And I'm not yeah. talking about Rat Trap. <laughs> uh, he's too big. All right, anyway. Uh, so, I, I obviously, I've already destroyed Indiana in my first day. I'm not just being buds with Stumblebee. Like, we'll, we'll be friends, like, but it's like in a buddy cop kind of way. You know, I got his back, he's got my back. Uh, the first thing, the, the first... The big goal of year one, I'm going to collect all the sharks. What are you talking Okay, what are you talking about? Collect You're, all the sharks. Mine, mine is the fever dream of, like, a, clearly a psychotic. But yours is just, like, non-sequitur after non-sequitur. What are you what talking are you about, collect all the sharks? That's not a thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna own a monopoly of the sharks. We're going to collect them all. That mean how? What? There's so many questions. Just why? <laughs> but why? So that we can charge a lot for shark viewing. Hey, I got. Where are you keeping these sharks? Uh Indiana. I've turned it into a just a shark tank. You're taking all of the deep ocean salt water fish that are sharks. Mm -hmm. And yes. you're moving them as inland as possible <laughs> to Indiana. Again, yeah. I must ask, how and why? Uh, Bumblebee will be doing the bulk of the heavy lifting here. Oh, are you going to pitch in? I mean, I'm, I'm more going to contribute a, on that front. More of a director. I'm going to advise him. You realize okay. he's not a magic wand you can wave. Like, he's a physical thing that has to be able to do things. Like, how is it even... He's an alien a robot so with incredible amounts of powers and the ability to transform into any machine, I think. Right. The just, just getting... Forget about the sharks for a minute. Just getting... I'm not forgetting somehow, the sharks are a big part of this. Just getting the state of Indiana to a point where it is somehow holding enough salt water salt water to hold all the sharks. How, yeah. how is he accomplishing that goal? That would take centuries. No, it wouldn't. He transforms into a cargo tank. Put the water in the cargo tank. Fly over Indiana. Drop it. What do you mean? How okay. does that take a long okay. time? Okay. Do, do you know how many... Car like, let's assume one cargo tank he transforms into can carry, I don't know, a hundred... Maybe a thousand gallons. Yeah. Sounds it would right. take it would take like millions of trips to fill up Indiana. He's an alien. What don't you get about that? And by the way, alien or not, it's gonna take hours to get from Indiana to the ocean. And this is we're still in the water collecting phase. He hasn't even trapped a bunch of fucking sharks. Um uh... Can no, he swim? Man. I haven't seen the movies. Is that part of his thing? Can he swim? Would well, he, he just, sink to the he, bottom of the ocean? No, he just transforms into a machine that can go into the ocean. This is a I, this this is just logistically improbable. And I'm I saying think, that as somebody who is very open minded right now. No, I, th there's a lot of vehicles out there. I think you forget all of the vehicles that exist. It's there's ways to do these things. But again, like no, no matter, like, he's not. He doesn't have infinite mass. Like at some point, he's gonna he does, get his. There's the mass. There's, yeah, the ma there's an amount of there's an amount of water that is the maximum water he can carry, and it is not anywhere near enough to be able to make like less than 
20 years worth of trips no, to get no. enough water. No, no. It would, it would take about – we've estimated about six months to water. No. Six months to shark. This is like the kind of estimate you get from like a bullshit contractor. It's like, oh, no, no. It'll be real cheap. And then you, you sign the contract and suddenly you've got a multi-billion dollar project that you thought was going to be like $100 million. He's an alien, pants man. I'm starting to think you might be. Why? I've done I've done the US a service. All right, you stop talking. Muscle V. Fair enough. Are you okay with this? You're no, very quiet right now. No. Well, I had some tech issues, but um no, that you're what you're doing is again ridiculous and completely stupid. You you're destroying Indiana and then you're bringing sharks That's to, a good thing. to the destroyed Indiana to destroy Indiana twice. No, I'm turning Indiana into a value add state by throwing sharks in there. I'm making it the only shark tank in the world. Now, if you were using Bumblebee to kidnap the sharks from the show Shark Tank, oh, that Cubans, I get Cubans also going in there. Don't worry. Can you imagine? You know what? I actually think that's a great cure for all of the world's ills. Like, forget a wealth tax. Forget, like, trying to stop oligarchs from happening. What if once you reach a billion dollars, you have to stay in Indiana? You can't leave the state of Indiana. Like, the only place you can be is Indiana. Like, that would be a great way for people Brilliant. you know what? I'm, fix. I don't need to hoard wealth. I don't need to, to, you know, fuck the world over so that I can make even more money. I'm happy with, like, $500 million. That's absolutely, enough. Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't even get close to the mark that would put me in India. Yeah, you would want a healthy distance between you and a billion because you don't want, like, a good day on Wall Street to turn you into a fucking I, Indiana resident. No! AMC's risen again. Right. How? I have to All go right, to Indiana. Well, off to West Lafayette. Shit, there's still time. Can we start a charity? Please. Oh, shit. I'm fucking going to Muncie. Yeah, that's like, oh, we really, I don't, how who do we talk to? Do I talk I to my you, son you know, about you, this? You know, you, do, you go on Reddit, you type in uh, Reddit slash r slash crazy ideas. No, what, this is, what, are great ideas or something. <laughs> I assume that's one. All right, so, muscle, is it muscle V's turn? Is that how that works? Yeah, I have really, I, you have the perfect fix for capitalism. We really should. Somebody should do something with that, please. Viewership, get that to get that to someone important, please. Get that to Gates or somebody. We could convince AOC. She would go for this. AOC, absolutely. She probably has already pitched it. No way she likes Indiana. All right, what do you got, Muscle Bay? So obviously, the right answer is become a baller. I'm going become. to. I'm going That's to. That's your, your first year goal. Yes, is to become a baller. You're, you already play softball regular. I know this. I want, I want some definitions of baller for you in this case. Yes, definitions of baller. So I will be, even though Bumblebee's going to be a little drunk or a lot of drunk, I still No, he's like, very drunk. He's inoperable. That's we didn't even cover that. How You're expecting him to transform the entire oceanic landscape of the world, <laughs> and he's drunk? Yeah, it's okay if he gets oh a little God. bit up. Sorry, we're not talking about you. Right? Sorry, we're not talking about you. Anyways, Muscle. for us to make money, we're definitely going to hustle in some uh, drag races. Interesting first use of drunk Bumblebee. Didn't, didn't see hustling drag races. <laughs> Are you like making him, like, does he have to transform into kind of a shitty car and then he becomes a Camaro when it's time to race? Yeah. No, I it's still it's still a Camaro, but like he's not really driving straight. And then like when we start when we start doing the race, like obviously there's a little bit of cheating going on, like we're slashing a tire. Oh, I don't know how that happened, right? What? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? Who's slashing the tire? Are you doing? Are you saying Bumblebee we, is like we, using his transformer powers to slash tires? He's doing a quick transformer. We don't know who's like doing it. Enough. Yeah, we don't know. It's just happening to all we these don't other cars. Know. <laughs> We don't what know happened? how every car we race just automatically has slash tires. That's I love that you've got you've got a uh, transformer bumblebee on your kill. team, and you that drink you think that you need to resort to petty sla tire slashing to win. He's drunk. Like, he can't do it. Was, he can't do it. He can't do it on his own. He's he doesn't drunk. have the skills. 
He can't do it. He's got to slash oh, the tires. Yeah, actually, the drum this really hurts you here. How's he going to be Cognito slashing tires? No one's going to notice. We'll figure it your, out. Your car's going to giggling every time he slashes the tire. <laughs> you can't talk. Exactly. Remember, the radio's going to start perfect, giggling. Sorry, it must have been. That was the perfect impression. A exactly. bumblebee slashing a tire. First off, yeah, you can't yeah. talk. You can't talk. The radio's going to be giggling the whole time, so it's going to be fine. Radio. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh my goodness! I, well, so it is a good question. I don't know how transforming works. I don't think you're like. I don't think they become a faster Camaro. I don't think it's like an optimized car. Camaro's not like an ideal drag racing car. Like it's gonna get. Wait a minute! Smoked. Wait a minute! We're, it's not. It's not a car. It's at no point is it a Camaro. It's not actually a Camaro that went through the assembly line. You didn't see it. The is, no, no, no. But it's it an does, alien it, being. It scans a Camaro and then it uses its specs. Like it yeah. turns into a Camaro. Oh. Yeah, you just don't. Well, know I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see the movie. That's that's your bad. No, it's my good. No, it's a good movie. It really, it's, a, it's. I mean, it's not like a deep movie, but it's it's a fun watch. I. What was the last we saw? Uh the year it came out. I saw okay. it in theaters. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that uh, 19 year old. Uh, drink. Uh, right. Jeeves drink. is. Oh my God! Drink, drink nineteen for that. <laughs> Jeeves, Jeeves is a uh, uh, review of a movie where a pretty girl is on a car. I don't know that I'm going to no, take that. No, no, she she fixes the car. Or she I'm attempts skeptical. to. I don't, I don't know if she actually fixes it, but she looks at at the hood. What a moment! Yeah, kill. Oh, I'm rolling now. Oh, I revenged you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I don't. I still. I don't think it's a good drag racing car. So this is an interesting move. Well, we're making it work. So that's how we're gonna make a shit ton of money. And then once you, we're once making you, it work. Once you get money, then obviously you can get a really nice place. And I already have a really nice car. So at that point, oh, we're getting a ton of girls. I, all right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. This is this is like what today. is. First of all, first of all, I've got two questions. The first is kill? how much Holy uh, shit. how much money do you think there is in drag racing? Uh well, this, the this Fast is and a, the Furious. I was say, this is underground drag racing, I believe, right? This isn't uh No, it's not like like Yeah. Uh sports this drag isn't... racing for like a championship or whatever. Like I'm getting your your pink slip. No, uh, that's what I'm saying now. Is that like Got a kill? Are, are, I mean, I'm not in the drag racing scene, but are there people what? that are doing illegal Wait, drag what? racing? <laughs> you? Shock, shocking, I know. What? But are you saying, are, are you, I could be wrong. I don't know. But are, you saying the, say. are you saying the people who are drag racing on the street randomly, illegally, are doing so for millions of dollars? Like, how much money is really in it? As far as we know, because we've only watched Fast and Furious movies, yeah. you race for other people's cars. Yes. That's all we know. Okay. They're usually worth, a, like, a pretty penny, but not, you're not getting multi-million dollars. Or no. Anything. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to live the, the high life. You only got a year to do this. I feel that's enough time. You can, you can make more money just treating him as a free show, like traveling him around, like watch him turn into a thing. <laughs> like yeah, there's definitely, would, definitely that, better ways to make money, I agree. Or just go rob a bank, you know? Like, you don't have to... Well, I don't want to spend my time in jail if we get caught. Like, fuck that shit. But if, if we get caught, you're, they're going to be able to identify you. He's the one with the Transformer. Like, yeah. they'll figure that out. You, you just strong arm the government say you're not arresting me. Also, I'm just going to point out that, like, uh, we didn't say you're... Again, we never at any point said, pretend you're, you're 19 again. Pretend yes. you're a young man. Like, in this scenario... You're apparently leaving your wife and child to go uh, get chicks with is, a, a bumblebee con car. Concerning how much you're trying to get chicks. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that being a side effect or whatever, but that is your only goal as far as I can tell so far. We're living the baller life. That's the goal. Yeah, so I did I did want to hear more about Muscle V as a baller. What what is what's your what's the day in the life of you as a baller? Uh obviously we have a nice house uh with a pool. Um, obviously. Obviously. 
Um, a lot of a lot of fruit for breakfast. How many? Which, how which many people do that? Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. I was ready to interrogate the pool. I was going to say how many sharks fit in it, but I now I'm curious. Did you just say that you're going to have a lot of fruit for breakfast? There's a lot of fruit for breakfast. That. Yeah, rich people do that. Really confusing. What? For a second move. Uh, I've been watching. <laughs> have you guys seen All American on Netflix? I've been watching a lot of All American on Netflix, and they always eat a shit ton of fruit. Never even heard of it. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I've also never heard of this. Uh, have you heard of Spencer? Spencer. Spencer's gifts. Yes. No. Pacinger. <laughs> I think is the guy's name. Uh, that no. is not a person who's famous. I'm former sorry. former NFL player. It's kind of like his life story, kind of. I don't. I don't oh my know gosh! Him. This has been out since 2018. It's what a really, it's this? a really good show. Is it? Yeah, they all live in Beverly uh, Hills, I think, and California, and they all have really nice houses, and it's pretty badass. And they eat a lot of fruit. So if I'm a baller, I gotta eat a lot of fruit for breakfast. I think this will surprise. It might surprise our audience. I don't think it'll surprise you or me, there, uh, Jeeves. But this is apparently a show that premiered on the CW. That he's. So I fond was of. gonna make fun of. I was gonna say it sounds like a CW network thing. <laughs> uh, I do see Tay oh, Diggs. Tay Diggs. Yeah, love Tay Diggs. He's pretty good. All right, I'm in. Yeah, that's honestly worth it. <laughs> uh, oh, Greta. Who's... Greta's in it. Oh, Gre- oh just Greta. I don't. <laughs> I was going to say the full name, but I, I am I don't know how to pronounce it right, and I I don't feel right uh, saying. Oh, Spencer Moore is who you were talking about. No, no, Spencer, no, Spencer James is the main character. Yeah, the main character. Spencer Payson. Oh, there's more than one Payson Spence. Guy. Well, there's a I think there's a real life Spencer and uh yes, it's Payson. character Spencer. Yep. Who's Breezy? Bree- she's actually badass. Coop character. She's sure, sure. I think it's Breezy. Yeah, she's a, she Classic. is a badass. I recommend watching that show. Fourth season just got released oh recently. You, you dropped four seasons of a CW network show. Oh boy! You know what's amazing? Uh, good. Uh, there what, are shows what COVID like this. does to the brain. There, I, I saw an ad not too long ago, maybe a year ago. <laughs> time, 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 very confusing. <laughs> I, I saw an ad. It was like a Hulu ad for like a new Hulu show. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I've never seen I've never seen this show. I've never heard of it." It seemed vaguely intriguing. I wasn't that into the the trailer, but I was like, "It kind of looks interesting." And they were like, "Season four premiering now." And I'm like, "Good God, this is a show that's been around for four years. I've never heard of it. Didn't have any clue that it was happening." All right, let's uh, let's wrap this up. So I got one last question for you guys, as Transformer owners. Uh, so, We're Pants friends. Man, you do not have to specify how long it's been, how how much you and Rat Trap, the buddy of yours, <laughs> have been in cahoots together. What's the very last thing you're going to do with Rat Trap? So, I'm pretty confident they're ageless. So, he's the same drunk Rat Trap that he's always been. Mm-hmm. I'm now an aged man. I'm like... I think the oldest, most wrinkly, uh, falling apart, takes 50 pills a day, just fucking uh, on death's door, old, old, old man. Like, we're talking 53, 54 years <laughs> old. Okay? And, and he is sitting by my bedside, hiccuping, because he's drunk. And it's very sad because he knows I'm dying and he has to live on without me. And it'll be so hard because we've been such good friends for like upwards of 150 years, um, even though I'm only 54. But time he was fat when you're friends. And he just kind of he gets close. And he says, do you have your neighbor's number? Because I'd really like to reconnect with him. And so I give him the number, and then he leaves, and then I dial him. You don't, you don't have your neighbor's number when you move. What are you talking about? Well, I give him a number. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I'm senile. I don't know what I'm giving him. I'm just, I just, I'm just giving him a number. And he, he leaves. The point is, I dial him. So, so the last thing you do is give a fake number to your buddy. 
It's not a fake number. I think it's real. Uh, you know, my recollection is that it's real. But, like, I'm in the deep throes of Alzheimer's. Because I've been, I mean, at 54, good God. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've really outlived Alzheimer's. I, I should have died many years ago. I've had 20 years worth of Alzheimer's at that point. You've had a, a, yeah, at least that much time pining over the friendship of Rat Trap and your neighbor. I mean, that's really going to mess with the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Love it. Uh, horrible use of Transformers, as you're aware. <laughs> as, as you know. Uh, but We yeah. had our fun. Did you? Um, the first you remember the first night where I we had the sex and then we pretend we pretended no, we did. No, 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 this is PG. We, yeah, we pretended we did. Okay, I see. Yeah, so you just for the last X years you've just been like, oh, that one night, what a night. It's the same thing for twelve years. That memory. <laughs> you got twelve kill. long years. But you have two drinks on me, bud. You really, you need them. You're a nightmare of a person. Uh, okay, uh, great. Uh, it's super normal. You handled it like anyone would. <laughs> uh, great. I think I'm going to win uh, this one. I think I'm going to win this one. Uh, okay, for me, uh, we've collected all the sharks. We've, done, we've had... Oh my God, so many things. That was year one. You guys have no idea what's going down in year 10. Uh, but it's the last thing I'm going to do. Still the beginning phases of collecting the sharks. <laughs> the, uh, uh, no, one's, no one's sharing it on this fun. I'm, I'm ordering public to self destruct. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, he's toast. That's he's, awful. He's not living on without me. What a dick move. <laughs> He built you a shark world. Uh huh. And you said, "You, I, I own you." Uh huh. And no one else will. Uh huh. Die, motherfucker. Your no, world. I said Your explode. World. I saw a self destruct. Yeah, if he's a die, motherfucker. That's I didn't cool. say die, I'm not a gangster. I said die, motherfucker. I said bumblebee. I said bumblebee. Please self destruct. He's like, yes, you, sir. You said no problem. Polite, you said politely. I said polite as fuck. He's I feel like, like he's right. he's. I feel like he he just does like an explosion and then you die and he's like yes, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not a real explosion. You got tricked. You got tricked. It's either way, it's, I think that I've he's done. No one else can wield this I think power. As we're good. You were dying. He was sobering up and he's like, yeah, we're not. We're not this doing this. What a nightmare. Yeah. Out of curiosity, we, we established that I was with my rat trap for 12 full years and I died at the age of 54. What was your timeline? Uh, well, so I figured everything I need to get done probably about seven and a half years. And when did you start? How old were you? I, um,. I was, just, I was just saying my current age, but I guess I'll pick a <laughs> random one. Uh, I, w- I was... Hmm, good question. Really good question. I was 42. So, you know, right but before 50. 49. 40, yeah. So you were younger than me. Substantially. Yeah. Like well, you, I, I, you, did, I didn't you, die. You missed... You didn't, what do you mean you didn't die? I didn't you die. Don't, you don't have to die. Right, right. You chose to die. No, I didn't. Whoa! To die. No, Panther wait, wait, wait. chose to die. Yeah. Wait, wait. You're yeah. saying you're you're going to self destruct Bumblebee before you are done with him? Like before you yeah, have yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sharing the fruits of our labor. What with do you him. share? You you had seven years with him. Why is after seven years he's suddenly a free agent? What is this? What are he's you not talking? A free, he's not a free agent. He's exploded. Why would you just keep him? I didn't need him anymore. What? I've you got all you my, could get out of him in seven I've years. I've maximized on my gains with him. That's just nonsense. Oh well, no, I've I've got a clear plan. It's crisp. It makes tons of sense. No one. What are you gonna do it. without him? What What is your day? Run my shark tech. Run my shark world. You're 
an aquarium loaner? That's your that's your reward? Oh, oh my god. No, no. I own all of the sharks in the world. This I'm making just buku a... dollars. That was I mean... also that was year one. Year three, crazy shit goes down. Mm, I, this I'm is juggling. bad. I'm juggling. I feel bad for you. Mine, I admit that mine was a psychologist's dream. Yours <laughs> is just sad, man. Why? Because you just you had you had a magical beast, uh -huh. and you said, "Eh, no. I'll just kill it before I it's said, given me all it can give." No, I said I'm going to capitalize on what I got. I'm going to take advantage to the fullest. It's going to be amazing. And even watch. if even if you went to the end of your days and all you gave him to do was be your bodyguard so nobody could hurt you, that would have been worth doing. Why? I got to kill. I got a I got a full team of security. We're fine. Yo, better than a fucking transformer. You're an idiot. I put lasers on the sharks. Okay, so the sharks are gonna kill you. Great. No, no, they also respect me. Uh, well, that's so, obviously not true. So, so you're clearly an idiot. Obviously, we've established that. You're dead you within know. minutes of Bumblebee not by, not by your side. No, no, no. no. Yeah, you're dead. All right, dead forty nine. From natural causes. Anyway, uh, muscle V. <laughs> Do you yep. think laser sharks are natural causes? <laughs> they come from nature. No, they don't. Prove it. So, so for me, obviously, I'm going to wait. Come I'm, to Indiana. I'm getting to it. For me, obviously, dance, obviously, I'm not going to just you know self-explode a bumblebee for no fucking reason. Quick question: um, How many how many chicks have you have you gotten by this point? So many, up to four. So many. <laughs> um. Anyways, I'm gonna wait until uh, Jeeves is is you know got a couple couple days left, couple weeks left, and then I'm gonna <laughs> rebuild the state of Indiana and remove all the sharks and put it back into the ocean. Uh, good question. Yes. What do you mean? How have you picked when I'm going to make the decision to self destruct Bumblebee? No, I'm going to wait until you yourself are dying. And well, then. We just, and then. We just established that's minutes after Bumblebee's self destructed. So, wait, 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 hold on. I just want to say that I was hung up on this because, like, how, if you both have Bumblebee, how could you. I was concerned if you both have the same character, fictional character, that, we, that doesn't exist in the real world. What? I was like, how could how could Jeeves and Muscle V both exist in the same universe? I was convinced neither of you could be in the same universe because you both had a fictional character. The idea that there could be two <laughs> Bumblebees in the same universe, that, didn't, that was not a thing I considered. I jumped right ahead to you two real people that really exist must not exist in the same universe. That's where my brain went. Well, I'm reversing all the shit Jeeves did just to piss him off before he dies. What? You t okay, the only reason I'm dying is because your mech thing blows up. Like what do you mean? How would that help? How does that help? I would I would just tell Stumblebee to not do that. What? I feel Actually, like I feel like we're establishing at this moment because you both have a uh, uh, a Bumblebee that is equally powerful to itself. Like Obviously, Muscle V is going to be obsessed with uh, undoing Jeeves' accomplishments. And obviously, Jeeves is going to be willing to defend himself against Muscle V. So, like, you are, all of your plans are not because you're just going to be fighting each other the entire time you control Bumblebees. Uh, meanwhile, I'm here with Red Trap just getting cucked and having a great time. <laughs> so, I think I won this one. What, the what if? There's no way because Muscle V is spending all this time cruising for chicks. I don't have to worry about that because, again, I'm. In in a relationship it's going your, great. your whole accomplishment is you turn indiana into an aquarium i don't know why you're saying that like that's diminishing that's an incredible accomplishment who you, even go everyone like how, would go it's all of the sharks no but here's the problem though is that you go like like if you go like is this is indiana like a series of tanks i thought you were flooding the whole state because i feel like if like if it's just one big tank, you know, you're only going to be a hand on the edge of Indiana. No, it's, first of all, it's one of those sweet, you go under at parts of it for sure. 
Uh, I don't really know how sharks work. I assume there's a salt and a non-salt area. I mean, there's a what? there's there's a bar. What? What there's about? a bar. A bar. In Indiana. <laughs> in Indian, in the state of India, there's about, a bar. As far as I can tell, that's about how many there are now. So I probably, probably won't even change the one that exists. Oh my gosh! You're thinking of Iowa, I think. I'll throw it in there too. You know no. Throw too, it late. There. too late. Too <laughs> late. Iowa City, Iowa. Muscle Beast turn. Yeah, you said you're gonna thwart my plan. I just don't think you have the manpower. I still. He's Bumblebee. exactly the manpower. The manpower is no. Bumblebee. No, he doesn't because he's you. He you exploded like yours. Trying to get with a lady. No, but you exploded you said yours. You did it before I exploded mine. Which no, I, I said I said when you're dying. Oh, I didn't you did say, not say that. Yes. At no point did you say that. I said your death, Jeeves's death. You I said a Bumblebee. couple. Four days before I die, or some crap. Before you die, yeah. Hmm. I didn't say bum. You you could explode Bumblebee at any time, right? You still live for ten years later, more, or fifteen, or twenty, or thirty, or forty. Well, but then pants probably fewer, probably, probably like six or six, yeah. Oh, so you watch me explode Stumblebee, and then you're like, all right, now's my time to strike. Well, I still want to be with him for a while because he's still badass. So I'm not gonna like give that up because you're an idiot. So like, that sounded that sounded so romantic. I want to be with him for a while. <laughs> well, I want, to, I want to remind you, this is the last thing you're doing. So the last thing I'm doing when I, when you are dying, you Jeeves yeah. are dying. I will be reversing all of your life's accomplishments. You die without any life accomplishments. AKA your Indiana Aquarium, which he we know he can do because you don't have a bumblebee anymore. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's fine. Okay, so that's the last thing you're doing with your bumblebee. So what? He's just free after that. Yeah, go fuck off somewhere else. He's probably gonna go fix Indiana, and make it a tank again. Why would Soon he do that? <laughs> just... I thought. There's... Wait, when you when you fix Indiana, I always say like put it back as it was before any of this happened, and then you clarified you meant turn it back into the perfect Jeeves world. What do you mean? Everyone would go. Nobody would go. I don't care what you sparks. I, okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If you dropped Vegas into Indiana, would you go to Vegas? No, it's Indiana. It's still Indiana. You're not going to go. It doesn't matter what's in there. It's still Indiana. There's no other Vegas? Yeah, well, yeah, you're moving Vegas. I'm saying if I use my rat trap to move Vegas, which apparently we can do because we can just do magic with our Transformers, uh, if that's what I did with it, would uh, would you go to Vegas? No, Vegas would die because nobody would go to Vegas because nobody wants to go to Indiana. It's about Indiana. It's not about what's in Indiana. It's about the state itself. It's a, it's a hole. Nobody I wants assume, to go to that hole. I assume that, that Vegas would crop back up in Nevada, though. You know, after the after you've moved it, like it, it would just kind of rebuild. Like it's, like it's a, a little wart that just like you you think you you've frozen it off, and it's just like oh no, it just comes right back. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, people are still going to be crazy in the desert and want to gamble, right? But yeah, you I agree so. with me that Indiana is objectively bad. It doesn't matter what you put in it, even if you put a world of sharks, nobody's going to want to go. Cause I think you get all the sharks, though. All of them. Right. First of all, people are terrified of sharks. I don't think you, I think you're underestimating how many people are like. Oh, thank God! Now we can go to the beach again because fucking Indiana, inland Indiana, we were yeah, never yeah. going to go to anyway. Is hoarding the thing we were afraid of. Like yeah, the, beach, the beach is definitely going to be bumping with like seals and shit or whatever the fuck sharks hunt. Yeah. So there's a beach we'll, we'll now. There's a beach in the, at this aquarium. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you're turning into an ocean in the middle. It's not an ocean. No, Lake Michigan a... is not an ocean, and it's going to be smaller than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we've I think we've done everything we can do with this. I do too. Yeah, and I think you're correct. I think we'll be able to establish a winner tonight. So, Muscle, go ahead and throw that up as a poll. That should be perfectly salient. Yep, probably won't. Okay, great. Uh, well, let's go on and get uh, go around the horn, and get on out of here. Uh, Must be what do you got for us? Megan Fox. 
Yeah, yep. Pants man, how about you? Fucking a rat. Everybody boost there. Oh yeah, I like you, my little pony. That's true. That is exactly what he would say. And I just want to thank all of you for sticking with us tonight. If you hung out, that's great. I don't know. Our new schedule is kind of all over the place. <laughs> We're probably going to try to target next Wednesday. Maybe we'll be on tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, either way, we hope to see you next time, whenever that may be. But until then, we do want to remind you, Indiana's a butthole. We can fix it. All we need is all the sharks. Con Daddy's out.